Yung litrato. What are you doing to my countrymen? And if I were to do it to your citizens here, would you be happy? No. No, oh, para pinirito ang gilitson. Mm. Is, there, is there something wrong with your culture? Is there something wrong with the values? <laughs> Potang inaprinan siya yung katawan. Well, you can have it if you want. Enjoy the reading, ladies and gentlemen of this republic. And that is because uh, our only fault, our only fault is that uh, I address this to Kuwait. Ano ang kasalana? What is really our fault? Our fault is that well, why are all these guys suffering? What's the reason? Because the Middle East is beautiful and they are there for the tourists so that they, they, they contract an employment. They are there because their children cannot go to school if they do not sacrifice. And for every family that loses a mother that goes in to outside of the country, that family, that poor family, becomes dysfunctional. If the mother and father goes out to the Middle East to look for a living, to I, Filipinos on the average, four, five, six families, to enable them to pay for the education of the children, both works in another country and the wife uh, uh, deployed in another uh, state. And the children are left to the care of the uncles, that was a rape, even by the uncles, it's an uh, everyday. So, without the father and mother, these children flounder. And they suffered. They swallow everything that a human being can digest in his mental and physical state. But only to commit suicide because the human body can only take so much. There are not all, let me lay the predicate, not all, but there are tribes in the Arab nation who has this uh, culture that if you are a slave both uh, from the slave market of uh, my slave market of uh, Africa and the Middle East when you work